the cost of living here first of all is high i am moving some of the culture shocks we're in africa <laughs> first thing is the weather the weather is is weathering it's cold what is going on hey sweet wear better wear that jacket <laughs> actually i shouldn't be telling you this you should come and express for yourself i see what's happening i was i was embarrassed like, at the point i was like was i the pay rent here monthly Welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Alma Sinobi and I'm a travel content creator and sometimes I just come here to like whatever actually but yeah welcome to another episode of whatever it is we do here. In this video so I just got back from work I am making dinner and I decided to do a little life update. From the title you know that I have left Nigeria and <laughs> as a travel content creator it wouldn't really shock you if you saw that title um but in this case this is not just any random trip for me i am moving <laughs> to nairobi i mentioned in my last video on one of my most recent videos that i decided i wanted to go back into the 95 space so i was ready to go back into the 95 space i got a job that is not based in nigeria you know everything is not nigeria anyway so i had to either move to berlin germany or nairobi kenya I could work remotely from Nigeria, from Lagos, but I've decided that I want to have two bases. So I'm not exactly fully moving, it's not like I'm going to live here permanent, but I'm going to be here for a large chunk of time, at least every month or every quarter, like this is second base. This might affect my travel content such that not all my trips would from Lagos anymore, which, you know, kind of is more relatable, but I'll do my best to keep it as relatable and as you know everything for you guys anyway but that said this is what it is it's not like i'm moving on my family members or I'm, I'm not going to be in lagos anymore so yeah i'm going to be in lagos sometimes or i'm going to be in Arabi sometimes i might go to berlin once in a while but i don't really see myself moving like permanently outside africa for now so in this video i think i should just talk about because actually i feel seeing I was supposed to see, but well, I think I should talk about like some of the culture shocks or some of the things that I didn't expect to happen or the things that I didn't expect because I'm in Africa. This is my first time in Kenya. I've only been here on transit, so it doesn't count. This is my first time in, living in Kenya. I'm filming this video. I have spent a week plus here, a week and two days or so. So yeah, I'm filming this video. I don't think I'll be able to cook and make this video, so let me just stand here and finish the video. Culture shocks. <laughs> first thing is the weather. The weather is is weathering like is is cold i'm like this is not black people's shit this is not it's not this is not black weather please please what is going on like i get it like you know winter coats and all of these things people are bringing them out and we're in freaking east africa like if you were in anyway well indian ocean right on this side but still anyway it's pretty cold like it's really really cold i typically like to wear sandals or flip-flops or like i don't like to wear like too many clothes i wear like sleeveless dresses shorts and half slits eh slits wear <laughs> eh <laughs> better wear that jacket <laughs> okay please don't mind me okay so it's actually really cool here and it's very weird because like i didn't i didn't expect that it would be this cold here Right. I, I always thought some safari is bright da 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 yeah anyway when it's just the time of year people have have said that no don't worry it gets it gets warmer I guess I'm, hmm, they're lying second thing is their response to climate change in terms of like plastic consumption single-use plastic and everything so when you go to stores actually lots of countries do this when you go to stores you don't like they don't Nigerians you buy one you can buy one just like this just this tiny just like this. They will give you nylon that <laughs> as if you're selling it. And they'll say, ah sorry, should I double it? <laughs> so that's what we do in Nigeria. But here they don't give you like you would have to buy a bag or like they give you a paper bag. So this was like take out that order then like, they give you a paper bag, brown bag, or buy a shopping bag. So I have a number of shopping bags. I have one here. So there's this one. That I went to shop recently, and yeah. So you buy this bag, and this bag is like fifty shillings. One Kenyan shilling is about six naira. But anyway, so that's 
just about it. Thirdly, on this issue of on this issue of shopping, you know how when you go to like a, a store in Nigeria and then you're leaving, you give them the receipt, like you give the officer or the security person at the door the receipt, they will stamp it or cut it or anything. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't be telling you this. You should come and express for yourself because once beaten, twice shy. To catch you first. Then you learn it the hard way. I learned it. Why does nobody talk about this? Why does nobody talk about this? So, I, I actually just finished shopping when I went there to shop, like the stuff that I bought, like in the bag that I just showed you. I had a pretty long list because I wanted to get groceries. Like, I wanted to buy provisions, snacks, juice, you know, regular stuff. <laughs> I was heading to the man. I came into this. <laughs> he was looking at me like, what's happening? I was I was embarrassed like, at the point. I was like, like, if you are in Nigeria, if you don't show your man, they will chase you. Hey, where's this thing? Anyway, so that that <laughs> that was it. So another thing that I didn't expect, or another thing that I I didn't really see coming, was that they pay rent here monthly. The cost of living here, first of all, let's not talk about it, is high. Like it's high. Ugh. Anyway, so I, I'm going to put up a house tour. I already filmed the video. Because I did my last video like my apartment. There's two bedroom apartments, but I'm using only one bedroom. So uh, yeah, the price and everything is there. But on the average, if you want to get like an unfurnished one bedroom apartment in Nairobi or in this area that I'm staying at actually Lavington, Kileleshwa, that area it's costing about eight hundred dollars. Seven hundred, eight hundred. You could get you could get like a hundred dollar for some rent, right? But it's about seven hundred, eight hundred dollars per month. Per freaking month in my house in Lagos. I pay about one four or so. Right now we're current dollar rate, I don't even know any name. But like what I'll pay here for like two months or three months is what I'm paying per year. At home. Now, this is why I'm very conservative about moving to Nairobi. I'm just like, nah, miss me with that. So I would, I have an apartment here, which I would stay and pay when I'm around. So when I'm not around, it's an Airbnb. The cost of living, nah, yeah, yeah. So you know how in Nigeria we have Momo, we have Impesa. Like I've always known of Impesa. Like I mean, because I work in fintech. But now, like, it's very. You know how we do transfers? They do in Pesa. It's very cute. I don't know why. I don't know why that's cute. But, like, anyway, that's all for me right now. Lots of Kenyans speak Swahili, right? And then their mother tongue. So, they don't speak, like, everybody that has walked up to me doesn't speak English first. They speak Swahili, which is actually really, really nice. I don't know, maybe because I don't know if I do Kenyan. Someone said I do Kenyan, but I don't, I don't do it anyway. But, they just walk up to me and the first thing that they're going to say is Swahili and then I say, oh hi, sorry, I don't understand. Swahili, I speak English. And then they can speak English. And this is very common with like a lot of other countries. Apart from Nigeria. Nigeria, see, see us. <laughs> like as much as possible, try and learn another language if you want to um, travel or at least just to be more accessible and more accommodating of people, right? So. At least know the basic stuff, like the very, very basic things like, oh, I can't speak this language, or oh, I can speak this language, or like basic words, like ordering at a restaurant, like food, taxi, money, how much, stuff like that. I think it's really, really useful, right? So, yeah, I think that's it for this video. Boop, 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 boop. So, yeah, that's, that's basically a life update slash what's happening slash what's not happening and everything but yeah i'm happy that i have two bases now uh, my office is here so i go to work morning come back like this right now i'm filming after work when i'm tired of nigeria yeah that way and then if i eventually decide that i want to move to europe or i want to move to like germany specifically yeah i could do that but i don't really see myself making that decision anymore soon that's the end of this video please if you if you want to see more videos if you want to watch more travel content if you want to so okay actually actually wait for you for you go chill so this time i'm mostly like just trying to acclimatize and you know settle in i've not done any tours i've not gone to any place i just came here my house to work my house to work back to the other nigeria's house back yeah, it's not been really like, oh, it's a trip, 
so yeah if if i've not still uploaded any stories or anything by now it's because i'm not like actively traveling i'm living mostly like I'm trying to figure out a routine and everything so yeah um i'm happy for this new phase i'm excited for how far i will go and what life has in store for me because i didn't ever think that i would move to Nairobi. i didn't ever consider it in my head that i would live in kenya like i don't know so yeah my life is pretty eventful feel free to subscribe it's free yeah yeah <laughs> so subscribe turn on the post notifications and you know just leave a comment let me know if you're in kenya let me know if you visited if you want to visit if you want to work here if you want to move here let me know what your experience has been ask me any questions about kenya and i'll be happy to answer them Doo -doo 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 -doo. bye <laughs>